This is how you can code an AFK system for your Discord.js version 14 bot, so let's go ahead and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I'd like to say that if you'd like to get the source code from this video and other videos on my channel, you can do so by getting my channel memberships or a Discord subscription over on Discord. If you get the Super God or Custom Bot tier, you will get access to that source code, and over on Discord, if you get the God or Custom Bot tier, you will also get access to that source code, and on both platforms, if you get the Custom Bot tier, me and my team will code you a personalized custom Discord bot. If you're interested in any of this, go ahead and click the links in the description below to get started and with that we can go ahead and get into the video so to start we're going to go ahead and go to our schemas and we're going to go ahead and create afk schema.js it should look exactly like this when afk schema it should be a user a guild a message and a nickname and it should look exactly like this if you don't have any of this set up or you don't know how to set this up go ahead and watch the mongodb guide in the description below so after setting this up we can go over to moderation and we can do afk.js and here we can do const and we're going to get our slash command builder and we can also get our embed builder and we can do equals for Require, and we're gonna get discord.js then we can do const fk schema equals require and we're gonna get dot dot slash dot dot slash and we can get schemas slash fk schema then we can do module that exports equals we can open this up we're gonna do data and that is going to be new slash command builder and we can set a name and this is going to be afk we can also set a description and this is going to be go afk within your server we can go ahead and add a sub command and we can do command arrow function command dot set name and here we can make set then we can go ahead and set a description and this is going to be a go afk within your server we can add a string option and this is going to be option arrow function option dot set name and this is going to be message and we can do dot set description and this is going to be the reason for going afk and then we can do set required and we're going to make that true now we can actually copy all of this because we're going to make another sub command then we can go down here we can go ahead and paste it we're going to go ahead and change this to remove we can say un afk from your server and then we can go ahead and remove this string option right here and and the required because we're not going to need any of that we can add a comma we can do async execute and we can do interaction and we can go ahead and open this up and here we're going to do const and we can do options we can do equals interaction and we can do const sub and we're going to do equals options dot get sub command then we can do const data equals await afk schema dot find one that's going to be guild which is going to be our interaction dot guild dot id we can get our user which is going to be our interaction dot user id as well then we can go ahead and switch to our sub command and we can open this up we're going to do case and that is is going to be a set we can add a colon and come down here we're going to say if a data we can go ahead and return awaits interaction to reply and we can say content and we can say you are already afk within this server and we can go ahead and make this informal we're going to say else and we can open this up we're going to do const message equals options that get string and that is going to be our message string and then we can do const nickname equals interaction dot member nickname and then we can do or and we can do interaction dot user dot username then we can do await afk schema dot create and we can open this up we're going to get our guild which is going to be our interaction guild id and we can get our user which is going to be interaction user id we can get our message which is going to be our message variable and lastly we can get our nickname which is also going to be our nickname variable we're going to do const name equals and we can do brackets and we're going to do afk we can open this up and we're actually going to say nickname just like that then we can do await interaction member set nickname and we can do our name variable just like that and we're going to go ahead and catch an error we can open this up and we're just going to return and do nothing then we can say const embed equals new embed builder and we can go ahead and set a color which is going to be blue and then we can say a description we can do white check mark and we can say you are now afk within the server send a message or do slash afk remove to remove or afk just like that and we can do wait interaction dot apply we can do embeds and then we can pass in our embed and we're also going to set this to informal so we can do comma eph emeral as as well then we can come out of this if statement we're gonna go ahead and break then we can say case and we're gonna get remove and we can go ahead and add a colon here then we can go ahead and say if no data we can go ahead and return await interaction to reply we can say content and we can say you are not afk within this server and we're gonna go to make this informal as well then we're gonna say else and we can open this up we're gonna go ahead and say const nick equals and we're gonna get data dot nickname then we can do await afk schema delete many and we can go and say guild which is going to be interaction.guild.id. We can do user, which is going to be interaction.user.id. Then we can go ahead and do await interaction.member.set nickname. And that is going to be our nick variable. And we can also catch an error here. So we can open this up and we're going to return as well. Next, we can actually go ahead and copy this embed because we're going to use that down here. For our description, we can say your AFK has been removed, just like that. And we can do await interaction.reply and we're going to get embeds and we can get embed and we're going to make this informal as well. So with that, we are actually 
actually done with the AFK commence, so we can move over into our index.js file. And here we're going to do const AFK schema equals require, and we're going to get dot slash, we can get schemas, and then we can do AFK schema. We're going to make a client dot on event, and we're going to get events dot message create, and we can do async message, and we can go ahead and open this up. We're going to first check if it is a message dot author dot bot, and we can go ahead and return if it is. Then we can say const check equals await AFK schema dot find one, and this is going to be guild. This is going to be message dot guild dot ID, and we can get our user, which is going to be message to author dot ID, and we can say if check, we can go ahead and open this up. We're going to do const nick equals check dot nickname. Then we can do a way to afk schema dot delete many, and we can go ahead and get our guild, which is going to be message dot guild dot ID, and we can go ahead and get our user, which is going to be message dot author dot ID. Now we can do a way to message dot member dot set nickname, and this is going to be our nick variable as well, and we're going to go ahead and catch an error here, so we can catch and open this up and just return. Now we're going to say const m1 equals await message dot reply and we can say content and we can say welcome back and we can do comma and we're going to get message to author and we can do an exclamation mark and we can say I have removed your AFK and then we can set this to informal as well. So now we can go ahead and set a timeout and we can go ahead and open this up and we're just going to go ahead and set this to a 4000 millisecond timeout aka 4 seconds and we can do m1 dot delete just like that. Then we're going to come down here and we're going to say else and we can open this up. We're going to do const members equals message dot mentions dot users dot first. Then we can say if no members, we can go ahead and return. Then we're going to say const data equals wait afk schema dot find one. And we're going to get guild, which is going to be message dot guild dot id. We can say if no data, we're going to return as well. And we can say const member equals message dot guild dot members dot cache dot get. And we're going to get our members dot id just like that. We're going to say const msg equals and we're going to say data dot message. And we can say an or and we're going to say no reason given. We can say if message dot content dot includes and we're going to get our members. We can go ahead and open this up. And we're going to say const m equals await message dot reply. And we can say content and we can do a member dot user dot tag is currently afk. Don't mention them at this time. And we can do a dash and we're going to go ahead and say reason. And then we can go ahead and open up our message variable just like that. Then the last thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and set a timeout so we can open this up as well. And we're also going to go ahead and make this a 4000 millisecond timeout. And then in here we can do m dot delete. And then after that, we're also going to go ahead and delete our message. So we can do message.delete as well. And the reason for this is because this is technically going to be a ping. So if you're pinging somebody who's AFK within the server, we're going to go ahead and delete that ping as well because they are technically AFK and we don't want to disturb them. All right. So that's actually all we have to do for this system. The last edit we're actually going to make before we restart the bot is right here in our AFK.js. I accidentally set the message to required. So just go ahead and set that to false. One other thing before we actually restart the bot as well, we are going to go ahead and and add a user in here so we can do comma and we're going to get user and that is going to be members.id so just make sure you go ahead and do that and with that we can go ahead and restart the bot all right so over in our discord server we can actually go ahead and test this out by doing slash afk set and we're going to see our message is an optional now uh, so i'm just going to go ahead and send it and it's going to say you are now afk within the server so because i'm an admin and i'm above the bot in role hierarchy it's not actually going to go ahead and change my name but it is going to add me to the schema and if i go ahead and send a message here as you can see it's going to go ahead and say welcome back and now if i send more messages it's not going to say that anymore and let's say i do afk remove now it's going to say you are not afk within the server just to show that it has been removed from the schema now we can also test this method out so we can go ahead and set it and then we can go ahead and do afk remove let's say i get back and i don't want to send a message and now as you can see i am removed from the schema all right so let's go ahead and set another afk this time we'll go ahead and set a message so i'm going to do something doesn't really matter what you send and we can go ahead and set that afk so over on the alt account here what happens is if i go ahead and send a message obviously nothing's going to happen because i'm not afk so let's say we go ahead and actually mention myself and we say hello and we go ahead and send it as you can see it's going to say that i am currently afk and it's going to go ahead and delete both messages after five seconds so basically i can keep spam pinging them if i would like to but uh, it's going to go ahead and send that message over and over again and it's going to go ahead and delete all of those messages as you can see there
there. So let's go ahead and say we go AFK on this account. So we can go AFK set and we'll say a message going AFK. We can go ahead and send it. And now I'm AFK within the server. So now my nickname is AFK and then that name. So let's say we go ahead and send a message here and go on AFK. It's going to remove my name and it's going to go ahead and put it back to the name it was before. So let's go ahead and change my nickname to test. We can go ahead and save it. Then we can go ahead and do AFK set. And we can go ahead and set my AFK there. As you can see, it's going to go ahead and say AFK test. So it's actually going to use my nickname here. Now let's say we go on AFK. It is going to actually change it back to my original nickname instead of just going back to my actual name. So we can go ahead and test this out one more time. We can do AFK set and we can say testing. And if we go back over onto the Discord server and we try to ping AFK test, hello, it's actually going to go ahead and remove my AFK. So it's going to remove my AFK before uh, actually alerting me that the other person is AFK. So we can actually go ahead and test this out. So hello, um, we can go ahead and send that. And as you can see, it's going to go ahead and say that they are AFK. Please do not mention them at this time. And then it's going to go ahead and delete the other messages. So that's how you can make an advanced AFK system for Discord.js of version 14. But if you need any help with this, go ahead and join the server in the description below. And might as well just join anyways, because it is a pretty good coding community. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.